I've had a huge number of you ask for more. More videos, more reviews, more puns, for some reason. And then I've had a huge number of you ask for less. 10 keyless, to be more specific. Motospeed previously sent me their CK104 inflictor keyboard that you can check out in the card up top, and a number of you have wondered, what about the little guy? And so Banggood generously provided another dang good keyboard for review. That joke is getting old. The Motorspeed CK101 is a 10 keyless peripheral featuring a black body and a red shaft. I mean, red switches, at least for the model I have. The board also comes in white, and you can opt for the blue shaft instead of the red. Though, I have yet to determine if that's better or worse than blue balls. On a somewhat related note, for those of you with a foot fetish, you've got two upper feet around the bottom. The last two are just plastic. If you're more interested in some light bondage, you are provided a 1.5 meter braided detachable micro USB cable. Dirty jokes aside, you get a really solid keyboard featuring Otemu red or blue switches with a 5 billion click lifespan? I'm not too sure about that, but I don't have the time, patience, or finger endurance to verify this figure. Sorry ladies. Or gentlemen. For the right price. You also get full key rollover, RGB, which quickly seems to be becoming a standard nowadays, and no number pad. Obviously. The function row also houses the media keys as well as some quick launch commands for things like email, calculator, etc. And function and escape resets the keyboard to its default setting. The number row has various lighting profiles tuned to gaming situations like shooters or MOBAs. And then you've got five profiles you can customize on your own, as well as a couple of keys to control lighting effect speed. Function and insert allows you to cycle through your effects list, and function and delete lets you customize that effect to some extent. For example, if we go to a static profile, function and delete will let you switch from the speckled rainbow to red, green, blue, yellow, purple, cyan, and white. The next effect is mixed light mode with a breathing option. After that, you get a never ending with the color options mentioned before and lateral direction control with function and the arrow keys. The next one is a type lighting per key effect with same color options, followed by a sinusoidal wave because math is fun. It looks pretty neat, but it may or may not be distracting after some point in time. After the static colors we already went over, we have a breathing mode with the same color package as usual, followed by a colorful neon mode, which is effectively a color shift. Next is another type lighting effect that they call touch and go, and then you've got what I think is the best implementation of a rain effect I've ever seen on a keyboard, because it looks intense AF. Next up is Rainbow Roulette, the frontman of RGB followed by a type lighting ripple effect with all the adjustments you've come to expect by now. And finally, a starry sky effect, which doesn't lock to a specific color, but does have a few crazy presets. In my usage, I definitely miss my number pad, though that's the entire reason you get a 10 keyless, so I'm sure you'd be okay with that kind of thing. Aside from that, the keyboard served me well. The Otemu Reds feel heavier than Cherry's version, but after some time with it, they were pretty easy to adapt to. The double shot ABS keycaps are smooth to the touch and boast durability, so I doubt you'd run into any longevity issues there. The switches also sound marginally quieter in comparison to Cherry's, since the bottom out noise seems to be a little deadened. Have a listen. The keyboard is great in terms of reliability. I had no issues to make note of in terms of performance, though that doesn't mean it doesn't fall short in other areas. On keyboards that use secondary functions, I prefer those to be transparent to allow backlighting to show through for those late night sessions that I'm sure you're all familiar with. Scroll and caps lock don't have any indicators, so that can be mildly frustrating at times, and my last complaint is in regards to its bottom. The two rear feet on the board are only plastic, so if you're a particularly enthusiastic gamer, it may not provide as much stability as you'd like. But aside from all that, for 50 US dollars, the keyboard is solid with its plastic and aluminum construction, so I don't doubt taking it on the go will cause any long-term issues. If you're looking for a 10 keyless, driverless RGB keyboard, this little dude sports some pretty big guns. So that's all I have to say about that. If you felt this video came up short, feel free to let me know. That was a cheap excuse for a pun. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, share, leave me questions if you've got them. Thanks for watching. My name is Steven and I am a little dim. Bye bye. And then I've had a huge number of you uh, of of you. <laughs> what about the little uh, them? And a number of you, and a number of, and a number of you of one. This board also comes in white, and you can opt for a blue shaft instead of the red. <laughs> this board also comes in white, and you can opt for a blue shaft instead of the red. I have yet to determine if that's better or worse than blue balls. If you're more interested in some light bondage, you have. <laughs>
as well as some quick launch commands for things like email and calculator and etc. And function and escape, does that make sense? You can't really say and etc, right? Because etc means, already means like, and the rest. Or, and so on, you know, whatever. RGB, which quickly seems to be becoming a stand, be becoming followed by a sinusoid. It looks pretty neat, but it may or may not be distract, d distracting. The double shot ABS keycaps are smooth to the Smooth. The double shot ABS keycaps are smooth to the smooth, smooth to the touch, smooth to the touch, and boast durability. So I doubt you'd run into smooth to the touch, smooth to the, smooth to the touch, smooth to smooth to the touch. The 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 sound is messing me up. Smooth smooth to the touch and boast durability. So I doubt you'd run into any longevity. The oh, longevity. The double shot ABS keycaps are smooth to the touch. 